when I was sworn in in 2018, we had a serious problem. We had people camping on the downtown streets. We had unmanaged camps that were super, super unhealthy for those that were in those camps. Have we moved this ball forward into the right direction? Absolutely. Hey guys, guys, check this out. Hey, what is it? It's someone in. Uh, do you think our main street slash downtown is healthy and successful? Successful. If not, what do you, what would you do to change that? Miss Mercer. I don't know how we can call our downtown healthy right now. It's in crisis. Um, 77% of Olympians do not feel safe downtown at night. 70% are calling for increased law enforcement. Uh, there was a shooting in the middle of the transit center on a Saturday afternoon, September 4th. There have been frequent stabbings. A uh, man was beaten to death under the bridges uh, last week. I see young women carrying baseball bats in their backpacks, and they tell me of the sexual assault they face and the harassment. I got stuck downtown uh, last Saturday night on the 9th for two hours after midnight uh, waiting for a cab, and I did not see a single OPD officer in two hours of walking around downtown. Not one on foot, not one in a car, and I saw a lot of sketchy stuff happening. So I, I don't know how we can say it's healthy. It's not. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Gilman. Thanks, Rob. Um, first, I, I want to say I completely support the additional social workers we've got downtown, the efforts to light alleys. All of those efforts are good. But I think it's misplaced frustration when you focus on the people who are camping downtown. I think the attention deserves to be on the landlords who've been raising rent just because they can, on the buildings that are sitting vacant, and on the employers who are paying less than it costs to live in our community for people who work full time for them. That, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, it's messy downtown. I also know that as a community and as a society, we have enough abundance that if it was shared just a little bit differently, we wouldn't have kids kicked out of their house and sleeping in a doorway downtown. And to blame that kid, to my mind, is just plain wrong. Ms. Reed? I think Clark was reading my mind. Um, that's exactly what I wanted to speak to is the is addressing the issues that are causing the folks to be down in the first place. And as someone whose rent went up $200 October 1st per month, and the letter I received was because there's a, 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 short, a housing shortage. That was the justification. They, made, they didn't even have to give me that. But they just did, and it was pretty It's pretty lame. But I, but I ran into somebody whose rent went up $500 per month, another one who's $300 per month. That's out of control, and that's not something that's going to help help at all if we don't if we don't figure out some solutions to that. And I know it has to be at the state level mostly, but we need to deal with that. Sorry about my, my washer. Also, um, I, certified peer counselors are important. I'm a certified peer counselor. And so are all, all of my coworkers. So, I mean, if Olympia could um, introduce peer counselors into their frame, in their into their budget, that'd be absolutely it'd make a huge difference in in helping folks. Also, thank you, and Miss Hoven. I probably messed that one up. <laughs> oh, um, it, Robert, you're lovely. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> Um, thank you for thank you for your efforts. Um, okay, so downtown, what a big one, and I'm so passionate about it. I've been living and working um, in downtown for some time now. Um, is it healthy? Uh, no, not completely. Is it um, is it uh, you know completely successful? No. Um, is there beauty? Is there community? Is there things that uh, make it, it worth continuing to invest in downtown? Absolutely, there are wonderful things about downtown. Um, but uh, let's talk about the challenges and opportunities that are also certainly present. Um, 
we need a downtown where we don't see people struggling, not because they're struggling somewhere else and they've been moved. Um, so uh, visitors and, and residents that are housed don't see them, but because they're not struggling. Um, it is, uh, it, I guess uh, I'm wrapping up on time here. So that's my biggest point is, uh, is many times we hear about the homelessness. And so um, finding a humane and compassionate way to address the homelessness where they're not receiving services in a fishbowl fashion. Oh, uh, my time is up. Thank you. Um, and Mr. Cooper. This is a tough one. I, I don't know any system in our society that's healthy. So how can I talk about downtown and that microcosm? It, it is a demonstration of what's broken and fractured to council member, some council member Gilman's points. You know, we have this housing crisis that's escalating. We have inflation, inflation coming at us like a tidal wave. If anybody's watching their cost of goods, uh, a significant problem that the city or the county won't be able to solve on their own. But at the same time, we have the third best sales tax performing area in the county in our downtown. It's vibrant when people are there, but there are people that need help and people that, you know, different populations need resources and services so that they can enjoy what is the downtown for five counties. And that comes with some pretty hard stuff and some uh, really great stuff. I work downtown. I love our downtown, but there are people that need more help and we'll continue to do what we can within our power. But we have a big looming crisis that is much bigger than we're talking about as a society. Thank you. And Mr. Payne? Yes, uh, thank you for this question. I think that the uh, that downtown, is it healthy? Uh, I say yes and no. Uh, obviously, um, everyone has expressed um, their reasons for why they think downtown is not healthy. Uh, I would happen to agree, in fact, uh, I myself share concerns. Uh, we just had a hate group that just, um, you know, just painted over one of our beloved uh, murals downtown, uh, which we just helped repair yesterday. Um, do I share safety concerns? Sure. Do I spend time with my family in downtown? And do I feel like it's the epicenter of our community where people come together and celebrate Olympia and each other? Yes. Uh, and I love that about the community, uh, and I'm willing to work on the challenges that we have. Uh, and I think we can do that in a number of ways by focusing on improving public safety as a whole for the city. And that looks like expanding our downtown ambassador program, which we've just done, uh, sending out our uh, police so that there is a community presence, uh -huh. not just responding in times of crisis and emergency. Uh, uh, and I'm out of time. Off with Ms. Parsh Parshley. Do I think it's healthy? Not 100%, no. I think when I was sworn in in 2018, we had a serious problem. We had people camping on the downtown streets. We had unmanaged camps that were super, super unhealthy for those that were in those camps. Have we moved this ball forward into the right direction? Absolutely. I live downtown. I walk to work every day. So I have seen the changes. We have more work to do. I think we have to expand our clean team even further than we've done. We have expanded our ambassadors from two to four. And we need to work on enacting the downtown investment district, which gets the property owners invested in the downtown and just instead of just the small business owners, which is the parking and business assessment district, because that will leverage more money for cleaning, for guides, for uh, holidays, for lighting, for intentional design to improve our downtown and make it a place uh, where people want to visit. They're really showing themselves to do really well. Come on, man.